Our last chapter, we looked at a lot of the inheritance um, and how things work with genes and alleles and stuff, but we really didn't look at how it is uh, equivalent to humans. So this chapter is going to focus on human inheritance. Some traits that you have are not Mendelian traits. Um, some are controlled by multiple alleles on multiple genes. Some are controlled by multiple alleles on a single gene. And some are just controlled by a couple alleles on a single gene like the Mendelian traits are. So uh, we're gonna briefly discuss uh, examples of each of these three types of traits in humans and see how uh, you relate to them and what kind of traits you ended up having. So first we got single genes with two alleles. These are your Mendelian traits. This is Mendel's work. Um, you looked at a lot of these in the last chapter. Examples would be your widow's peak. Uh, does your hairline come to a point? Mine does. You can see how my hairline is not straight across there. It points, it goes over. Same with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio here. He has this nice hairline and it goes to a nice widow's peak. Right? Uh, some people have curly versus straight hair and even the smile dimples when you smile. Um, and other things like your free or attached ear lobes, your waxier versus like more solid or runny earwax, uh, hair on your knuckles, things like that. Those are all single genes in your in your DNA, and they're controlled by two alleles. Some single genes have multiple alleles, so they might have three or more alleles for a gene to code for that single trait. Uh, for example, this is your blood type. Uh, blood types are actually codominant as well, but they do have three alleles. You can either have A, B, or O blood, and you have a combination of them because they do get codominant. So over here, you can see our genotypes versus our phenotypes uh, for blood type. If you have two O alleles, or just two lowercase i's, they are recessive because they are lowercase, and uh, due to the fact that they're not codominant, they will give you O-type blood. Um, if you want A-type blood, you can have the A alleles or an A-O allele, and that'll give you A. You can have two B alleles or a B and an O, and that'll give you a B. You can have one of each A and B, and that will give you AB blood. So that's how you get um, those. The uh, positive and negative antigens in blood, uh, aren't really in play with this gene. They're coded somewhere else. But basically these mean, uh, if you're ever interested in blood type, means they have antigens. Um, basically, if I draw a quick picture of it, you have a blood cell. And on the outside of your blood cell, you have antigens. These are little proteins that stick out like this. And very similar to how viruses attach, these antigens will attach to different things. Uh, and help you fight diseases and stuff, which is pretty important, or transport uh, oxygen throughout your brain, which is pretty important. So if you have A antigens, then they will work with other A compatible things. If you have B antigens, then they will work with B compatible things. If you have O antigens, they will work with everything, actually. And if you have um, A, B, they will work with both A and B. So it's important that if you have A antigens in your blood and someone gives you a B blood, your blood are not going to be able to talk to each other because these proteins are different. As opposed to having like straight lines, this would be like A antigens. Over here we can have B antigens. If you have AB blood, then you would have both A antigens and B antigens coming off of it. In some way. If you have O blood, then you actually don't have any antigens on there. And that's one reason why O is kind of the rare blood type. A, B you tend to give to other people. O, you really don't really do much here. Um, but that's kind of simply how blood types work. Um, 
You also have traits that are controlled by many genes and many different alleles, and these are like your skin color and your height. You'll look around the room, nobody has like the same height as the next person or even the same skin color. They're all off by little tones here and there. Uh, but those are examples of traits that are controlled by many genes.